Is shingles contagious? And if you've never gotten chicken pox, do you need to get the shingles vaccine? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen, I'm answering both of those questions today. Let's start with, is shingles contagious? Well, the answer is yes, and it's no. Let me explain a little bit about how shingles works, okay? First of all, shingles is caused by a reactivation of the virus that causes chicken pox. That virus is called varicella zoster virus. See, when you get chicken pox, it's caused by that varicella zoster virus. You get the disease, chicken pox, you get all the lesions, etc., and then you will get better, likely. When you get better, your symptoms go away, but that virus, varicella zoster virus, still remains in your system. It lies dormant. And what can happen is later on, it can reactivate. But when it reactivates, it does so in the form of shingles not chicken pox. So now let's go back to the question. Uh, is shingles contagious? Well, if you come across somebody who has shingles, you're not going to get shingles from them. But if you have not been protected against chicken pox, meaning you've never had the disease chicken pox, you've never had the vaccine, if you've never had that, you could actually get chicken pox from someone who has shingles because what you're doing is you're getting exposed to the varicella zoster virus, and instead of causing shingles in you, it will cause chicken pox. Now, you can get it from uh, the fluid in the blisters, or you can get it from actually breathing in virus particles that come from the blister rash from the person who has shingles as well. So once again, you can't get shingles from somebody with shingles, but if you're not protected against chicken pox, you can actually get chicken pox from someone who has shingles. All right, next question. Um, if you've never had chicken pox, then do you need to get the shingles vaccine? And by the way, I have videos on the shingles vaccine, side effects, who should get it, etc. So make sure you check out my YouTube and other uh, social media platforms for this. All right, so uh, the answer is this. We know that it's a reactivation of the virus that causes chicken pox that causes shingles. So if you never get chicken pox, you should never get shingles. However, the CDC says that 99% of people born before the year 1980 have actually had chickenpox, even if they don't remember it. And thus, getting the shingles vaccine actually might be a good idea for you. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you'd like my other videos on shingles. My name is Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I do daily videos. Please follow me on Facebook. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. I'm on TikTok, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, tic uh, Instagram, you name it. Uh, just follow me at Dr. Jen Cottle. And uh, also, please go to my website, drjencottle.com, to sign up for my free health newsletter. All right, guys.